touch me, touch me, touch me. I like the way she fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Hit it, hit it, hit it, drop. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. drop. What's good with the YouTube? This your boy CJ. And this your girl Rena. Make, Make sure y'all subscribe CJ and Rena. Rena. Alright, today we got a reaction video on geography now. France. Guys, don't forget to donate the bottle so we can keep going, going, and going. I know you're already, already ready. I'm ready. Now let's get it. Comme certains d'entre vous le savent, en huitième des mois est français. Je suis donc en quelque sorte en l'application de honorer mon héritage. It's time to learn geography now! Hey everyone, I'm your host Barbie. Ah, France. Pretty much everybody on the planet France. has heard of this place. I mean, immediately images of wine, cafes, embellished 18th century Baroque architecture, and people who really hate globalization of the English language. But take a step back even further, and France becomes a place with jaguars, coconuts, volcanoes, <coughs> penguins, grass skirts, war dances, bamboo flutes, witch doctors, and a multifaceted history that has evolved into a people group into becoming one of the most notable nations on the planet. Alors, allons-y. Wow. The first thing you need to know about France is that it's not just European, but a transcontinental country that spans across 12 time zones, more than any other country in the world. Mais comment est-ce que possible? Laissez-moi expliquer, gros garçon. France is kind of divided into <coughs> two main parts. The European metropolitan France, where about 95% of the population lives, and the overseas French regions, departments, and territories, otherwise known as the Département et Territoire d'Outre-mer, or Dom Tom. Before we tell you what they are, Dom let's Tom. explain the difference between them. Regions have exactly the same legal status as mainland <coughs> France in the same civil, penal code, and administrative social tax laws. However, they can be slightly adapted to suit the region's particular needs. In collectivities, the autonomy rises and they are empowered to make their own laws, except in certain areas like defense, currency, trade, and diplomacy. The overseas regions are Guadeloupe and Martinique in the Caribbean, French Guyana in South America, which by the way has the Kuro Space Center disputably the best in the world because it adds an extra a gravitational slingshot effect because it's so close to the equator of the Earth, and Reunion and Mayotte off the coast of East Africa. The overseas collectivities are French Polynesia, you've probably heard of Tahiti, that's French Polynesia, as well as Wallace and Futuna in the Pacific, Saint Pierre and Miquelon <coughs> right off the coast of Canada, Saint Barthélemy and Saint Martin, which is the only place in France that has a border with the Netherlands as the Dutch own the southern part of the island, located all in the Caribbean. The only islands that lie under the title of overseas territories are the French Southern and Antarctic Islands, or the TA. AAF. These islands are made up of the Corellan Islands, the St. Paul and Amsterdam Islands, you can probably guess who used to own those, the Crozet Islands, <coughs> Adeliland, the claimed slice of Antarctica that is technically not recognized thanks to the Antarctic Treaty, and as of 2007, the scattered islands in the Indian Ocean, remember the Comoros episode, were added to make the fifth district of the territory, even though half of them are disputed with Comoros, Seychelles, and Mauritius. These islands are mostly uninhabited and only house temporary military or scientific personnel. Finally, France administers two special territories that don't quite fall into any of the previously mentioned well, categories. Pretty, yeah. There's the uninhabited Clipperton Island off the coast of Mexico, which has a crazy murder story behind it. And last but not least, there's crazy New Caledonia, murder. which has a special particular status out of the French administered overseas okay. territories. New Caledonia is the only one that's vying for a kind of somewhat independence as the political power was passed to the native Kanak peoples. There is a weird dual French EU and New Caledonian citizenship thing going on. And in 2018, they will hold a referendum to either remain or leave France. And thanks to all these territories, they together give France the second largest executive economic zone in the world after the US. Whew. Okay, now let's go back to metropolitan Europe, France. The country is located in Western Europe, bordered by eight other nation states, don't forget little Andorra and Monaco, along the coast by the Couldn't English Channel that. and the Bay of Biscay in the north and west, as well as the Mediterranean Sea to the south. Mainland France is sometimes referred to as the hexagon, since if you tilt your head a little bit, it kind of looks like it has six sides. Quite frankly, I was always under the impression that it kind of looked like a teapot with feet. Mainland France is also divided into 13 regions, including Kinda. Corsica Island, 18 altogether if you include the overseas regions, with the capital, largest city, as well as the main cultural and commercial center, Paris. We could talk on and on about Paris, what with the unbelievably designed metropolitan layout, the rich, vibrant atmosphere, the juxtaposition of classically adorned historical sites along neo-contemporary architecture, the food, the shops, and of course, au soleil, sous la pluie, à midi, au à minuit. But that in itself would take too long, we gotta get through three more seconds. <laughs> Busy the ones are the two Paris twins, <laughs> Charles de Gaulle and Orly International, as well as Nice, Côte d'Azur, and the second and third largest cities, Lyon, Saint-Exupéry.
Saint-Exupéry and Marseille Provence International. At around 643,000 square kilometers, France is the largest country in the EU. The interesting thing about France is that it's kind of divided into areas that historically had their own distinct cultural identity. Some of the most notable ones being Occitania, <coughs> Savoy, Brittany, Normandy, Alsace, a section of the Basque Country, Nice, and the island of Corsica, which speaks its own dialect most French people can't even understand. These regions contribute their own unique piece of the French pie. Speaking of pie, we all know about French food, which is great because we're going to discuss more about it in... <laughs> France's physical makeup, you start to kind of understand why food plays such a huge role in their culture. Everything just kind of works out perfectly for them. For metropolitan France, big, rich, nourishing rivers and their tributaries like the Garonne, Dordogne, mm. Loire, Seine, Meuse, and Rhône entangle the entire country north to south, east to west, allowing an abundance of irrigated crop fields to exist in nearly every corner of the country. Now add on top of that the fact that the country does not have any major fault lines. They enjoy a nice oceanic European climate and they don't suffer regularly from any major natural catastrophes. Most of the country is made up of arable flat plains or small rolling green hills that are just begging for cultivation and voila you have an agricultural <laughs> gold mine. In fact out of every country in the EU France reportedly has the highest quality of soil performance and resilience and only a few spots like in the Caucasus region and parts of Eastern Europe and Southern okay. Russia rank higher. So there you go food haven. In the Carrots. south you reach the mountainous regions of France including the Pyrenees along the border with Spain, the Massif Central Plateaus, one of the most geologically studied places in Europe due to this strange formation, the like Alps all along it. the borders with Italy and Switzerland. Right. By the way, Switzerland was all like, yeah, I'm not gonna share Lake Le Mans, it's mine! And that's how Geneva was born. The highest point in France, let alone all of the EU, is Mont Blanc, found in the French Alps along the border with Italy, only second in height to the Caucasus Mountains in all of Europe. If you consider the Caucasus region a part of Europe. Some people don't, but that's just, that's another story. France is a cornucopia of produce, dairy, and meat. Every region has their own specialty, but two things are everywhere, cheese and wine. The French are the largest consumers of cheese with over 1,200 different varieties <coughs> all over the country, the French also have a larger range of unconventionally consumed meat products. Most countries stick with beef, chicken, pork, maybe lamb or goat, and fish. However, the French aren't satisfied with just that. Other animals like pheasant, duck, goose, quail, rabbit, venison, veal, horse, wow. frogs, and snails are consumed regularly. Speaking of which, the national wow. animal is the Gallic rooster, which is why you <coughs> typically see a lot of roosters on French affiliated symbols. In fact, France is one of the most entomophagous, that's insect eating, countries in Europe as about 700 million snails are estimated to be consumed every year by the French, especially wow. in Burgundy, the largest snail producing region in France. Unfortunately, wow. due to the fact that the French are the highest consumers of raw or mildly cooked red meats, a huge portion of the population is either exposed or chronically infected by the Taxoplasma gondii parasite that disputably over half the population is suspected to have. <coughs> this little guy eventually yeah. finds his way into your brain, changes people's behaviors into being either more caring or aggressive and suspicious. Look it up, I'm not even joking. The Alps are famous for their charcuterie and fondue, Brittany for its crepes, Cantal for its chestnuts, Dijon for its mustard, La Veyron for Aligo, Rheim for its champagne, and then we get to Bordeaux. Now, first of all, every region of France likes to claim that they have the best wine. However, it's widely known that Bordeaux is disputably the home of the largest wine wine vineyards in the world pumping out over half a billion liters of wine a year. The French take their produce maintenance very seriously and became the first country in the world to ban supermarkets from throwing away or destroying unsold food since February of 2016. All businesses must donate wastage to either charities or food banks. To combat crop wastage on farms, France has even opened up ugly fruit or vegetable shops in which you can buy disfigured produce for 30% off. Other than foodstuffs though, main exports are aircraft, chemicals, machinery, iron, and steel, electronics, motor vehicles, and pharmaceuticals. <coughs> of course, the overseas Lot of stuff. Territories and regions also have climates and topographies that are completely different. The Caribbean islands and Guyana enjoy a warm Caribbean tropical climate. Guyana being part of the Amazon, having one of the highest forest cover densities in the world at over 95 percent, with over 1,100 species of birds and reptiles fake. and mammals found in it. Reunion and Mayotte, off the coast of Africa, have deep jungle ravines and a wow. common volcanic activity going on. The scattered islands are mostly uninhabited sandbanks and lagoons with nothing more than just a few trees and shrubs. The southern Antarctic islands are rocky and desolate with few grasses and vegetation. Kerwellen has these cabbage looking things going on. And these islands typically freeze over in the winter with penguins stampeding off the coast. Yeah, that's really Caledonia and French Polynesia are tropical Pacific <laughs> islands that enjoy an abundance of rich, unspoiled, thick jungle brush and colorful flowers. And of course, Adelie Land is like all ice and Antarctica. All right, we've discussed borders, boundaries, mountains, food, volcanoes. Now let's talk about who's running the entire show. <laughs> 
France is a country of people that are very, very intent on making sure that you know they are French. First of all, the country has about 67 million people and is the second largest in wow. Europe after Germany, making 13% of the EU alone. About 85% of the population is white, million. 10% are North African, mostly million. from the Maghreb regions, a little over 3% are black, and a little less Almost than 2% are Asian. The currency is the euro, they use the type CEF outlets, and they drive the right type of which makes things interesting when they're neighbors from the UK <coughs> across the channel. Now let's talk about the white people. Most white White French people have some or partial Celtic or Gaulish origins as historically the Gauls inhabited most of the centralized regions of modern day France. That means genetically the French and British have a lot more in common than they think. Of course an admixture of Latin and Germanic roots also applies as all three people groups have their stake of claim in France as well. The name France even came from the Germanic Frank tribe. French is of course the official language, however regional dialects do exist, but for the most part they do pretty well at making sure everyone speaks it. Granted the linguistic zones that we mentioned before each have their own flag still cling on to their mother tongue, and sometimes you can even find street signs written in these languages. For example, Breton, a Celtic-based language related to Welsh and Irish found in Brittany, Basque in the Basque country, Occitan in Occitania. Corsicans have like this strange half-French, half-Italian hybrid thing going on. Keep in mind though, most of the languages spoken in the linguistic zones are kind of dying out and only the <coughs> generation really retains daily conversation in those languages. Outside of metropolitan France, yeah. the overseas departments and territories each really speak nice. French, but in addition typically have their own creoles or dialects. For example, in the Caribbean, Martinique and Guadeloupe might say Saka marche, tu bon man, ti mal man. In Reunion or Mayotte, they might say Coiffe, comment il est, a ou. France is the most ah, visited country in the world, as more people ah, than the entire population of France visit France annually at about 80 million. Culture wise, there is too much to discuss. I mean, we are talking millennia of tribes, wars, <coughs> empires, heroes, villains, artists, poets, architects, kings, queens, guillotines, revolutions, inventions, music, dance, clothing, fashion, cinema, cuisine, discoveries, victories. Losses, folklore, science, literature, medicine, and baguettes. To cover it all, we would need a whole separate YouTube channel. But for what it's wow. worth, since the Middle Ages, France has been able to show time after time again that it has been a global force to be reckoned with. I mean, the French at one point in time had the second largest empire in the world, spanning across virtually every region on every continent. One thing you have to understand is that in a fast growing Anglophone driven global economy, France is very, very firmly intent on preserving the French language and culture. The governmentally sanctioned Academie Francaise has aimed at doing this since 1634. They do things like, somewhat unsuccessfully, <coughs> banning foreign words such as blog, hashtag, parking, email, and weekend. In addition, the French media's top regulators, the CSA and CNC, have strictly enforced policies that require all music on private radio to be at least of 40% French origin and 70% in the French language between the hours of 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And half the music wow. quota must be less than six months old. Everything what? must be French. Wow. France is, of course, home to a plethora of notable figures in every field of academia and athleticism. I mean, they have almost 70 Nobel Peace Prize winners, including famous chemist Pierre and Marie Curie. Few people know that they had a daughter who also became a notable scientist. Other scientists, writers, and philosophers like Descartes, Pascal, Baudelaire, Flaubert, Pasteur, Châtelet, Bouton, who, by the way, invented the metric system. Musicians like Ramelot, Lully, Debussy, Jacques Brel, Edith Piaf. Of course, we can't forget the fashion icons Louis Vuitton, Coco Chanel, and Christine Vuitton. I mean, it's no secret, France is often touted as the fashion capital of the world. Artists like Monet, Cezanne, Renoir, Degas, Manet, and Gauguin. And of course, what's an episode about France without mentioning anything about kings Louis XIV and XVI, Joan of Arc, and Napoleon? In a simple way of putting it, French culture is very vibrant and proud. The French love where they've come from and how they go about doing things. The Catholic Church once played a major role, and to this day, even as a secular state with dwindling church attendees, many French people still, in the very least, identify nominally as Catholic. Mostly for a cultural <coughs> thing. It's just their history and they want to toss it away. They also love taking breaks and getting their sleep. On average, the French get about 8.83 hours of sleep every day, more than any other country in the developed world. And they also have some of the shortest work weeks, with only about 6-7 to seven hours on average a day. And that's enough for them. It's not uncommon to see people wow. taking time off in the middle of the day, early evening, <coughs> just to relax and take a nap. They even have a word for it. L'heure de la parole, which literally wow. translates to the hour of the eternity. <coughs> People can also claim state pension at age 62, making it one of the lowest retirement ages in the world. And of course, the sport French people wow. rank highest in the world going on strike. I mean, the last thing you want to do is interrupt a Frenchman's nap during a six-hour shift with corporate policy. <laughs> the world could be a cool, cool place. Let's see how it survives in the jungle. When it comes to France, they don't discriminate. They hate everyone equally. 
No, but seriously, France has their eyes on a few people, and when they see what they like, they cling on and make you a treasure. First of all, Francophone nations and Latin-based <coughs> former Roman legacy nations generally get the high seats, especially their neighbors like Switzerland, Luxembourg, Italy, and Spain. Quebec, Canada is to France kind of like what the USA is to the UK. They adore each other, they love each other's accents, but they love making fun of each other even more, even though they are really close. Now, yeah. Canada, Morocco and Tunisia are the closest <coughs> African nations as they make up the largest African immigrant demographics, followed by Sub-Saharan African countries countries like Cameroon and Côte d'Ivoire, or Ivory Coast. For France, Japan is seen as like the epitome of exoticism. Similar to themselves, the Japanese have a rich culture of noble tradition, things like castles, attire, and food. <coughs> Likewise, Japan sort of shares the same mutual fascination and see France as like its European alternate universe twin. There's no two countries that like to poke fun of and borderline harass each other with the French as the UK and the USA. As historical wow. rivals with the UK, I mean, they did have a hundred year war with them, and the USA busting their chops about World War II all the time. All sides like to satirize each other in cartoons and media all the time. Nonetheless, they are actually really close. The UK and France have been crossing borders and intermarrying for centuries. Commerce and student exchanges are high, and the US was helped by the French during the Revolutionary War, and they even gave the Statue of Liberty as a present. So fellow Americans, thank France for Lady Liberty, okay? It was a kind gesture. <coughs> France's best friends, though, would probably be Germany and Belgium. It's kind of funny because historically, the only country that was consistently an opponent of France was Germany. Ever since the split of Charlemagne's empire in three, most of Europe's history was driven by the overarching rivalry between variations of France and all variations of Germany, including the Holy Roman Empire, the Teutonic Order, Prussia, and of course, the Third Reich. But the plot twist was the creation of the EU. Following Robert Schumann's speech that states explicitly that for Europe to even hope to work, the millennia-old rivalry between France and Germany has to be resolved for good. Ever since 1950, France and Germany have taken a lot of political inspiration off of each other. Heads of states have visited each other on numerous occasions. Asians, and both countries have been the biggest advocates for the survival of the Union. And Belgium is like their little brother that moved out and got a Dutch-speaking roommate and visits France every so often to raid their fridge and do their laundry. <laughs> In conclusion, the <laughs> Français sont connus pour être intrépides, to belong, mais qui gardent quand même un certain charme. Ils ont parfois l'air de symbol, mais bon, essayez de vivre dans un pays en Paris. 24 heures sur 24, 7 jours sur 7, par des hordes de touristes qui piétinent vos jardins, massacrent votre gastronomie, et vous demandez de vous clair au moindre de leur désir, sans même vous dire un petit merci. Oh, France, <coughs> on le comprend. Stay tuned, France's rich former little colony, Gabon, is coming up next. Wow. Okay. So he spoke the whole conclusion in French. I don't know. He was well, at the bottom. You just had I know, but it was going by too fast. Yeah, it was going by kind of fast. I mean, you got to just pause it and watch that ending if y'all want to know exactly what he said. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, something I didn't really know is uh, Statue of Liberty was given by France. Yeah. Didn't know that. She wasn't always green. She turned green over time. She was a copper. So she was kind of goldish. She was gold and she turned green. Yep. I just couldn't remember who gave it to her. I actually, I never thought nobody gave it to her. I thought she built it. Well, I thought they built it. No, France gave it to us. France gave it to us. The French people gave it to us as a sign of friendship. And peace. 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 Figure that. Figure that. So we could stop fighting. <clears throat> well, I mean, hey, that was very nice. It was a nice video. Y'all definitely have some nice locations in France. That looked like some beautiful base, like places to uh, visit. One day, uh, don't know when, but one day. I always wanted to, uh, I always wanted to go to the Eiffel Tower. One day. Eiffel Tower? Honeymoon. Uh, okay. Intent. I hear you. <clears throat> I also love y'all hours. Y'all got six hours or seven hours to work. That was a coincidence. What? You didn't see what I did, and then all of a sudden you said, I love y'all hours. I saw you. I saw your heart. I saw your heart. You. But why? I wonder how much y'all get paid an hour <coughs> to only work six to seven hours. Yeah, and then y'all go to sleep in the middle of the day in public. Y'all must have some in good America. times. They all think we homeless. Y'all must get some a uh, lot of money there. I, I I actually, if anybody's from France that actually watching this, tell us a little bit about yourself and how yeah, it is down there. Yeah. If we did that in America, people would think we were homeless. Just pre, just make sure y'all let, let us know a little bit about y'all so, so we can understand how much y'all get paid 
everything y'all do is everything that's on this video technically true and is y'all money more than american money or is american money if i bring my money there would i be rich sometimes it may be true but sometimes it may not um yeah y'all would know because some people from down here what that are down here from france <clears throat> so yeah comment below actually check out the video below in the description and also donate below so we keep going going and going make sure you guys subscribe to cj arena like always guys peace bye i like the way she touched me touch me touch me touch me i like the way she fuck me fuck me fuck me fuck me hit it hit it hit it drop hit it hit it hit it